I'll show a little video here of just kind of how I cut it. Now, uh, we usually have a 32 inch bar on this 660 and that works really good, but we recently got a 42 inch for it to cut down a big walnut tree we went after last Saturday. So it works really good on this. And uh, I'll just kind of show you how that works. to and uh yeah that's kind of how that works works out real good like i say it held it all right there but if some of it does happen to fall out which at 32 inch length you're across two of these so it just kind of stays there but when you're at 16 and i'll cut it a little further to one side here mainly so i can get my saw on up in there left side of your saw doesn't hit this one and as you cut they'll kind of because you got more weight hanging over here they'll kind of fall that way away from your your bar you'll make your cut here that'll fall away from your bar especially if you got somebody that is taking these and putting them in the tote as you cut it they can take them and get them out of the way you make a cut here those will kind of fall away from your bar you cut there it'll fall away from your bar but uh yeah man this thing's pretty awesome then i'm just put my forks under here move this thing wherever i need to like I say i'm gonna move it up here to the swing blade here in a little bit but uh that's our saw buck hope that helps y'all i can i can give y'all measurements on the length of our egg i think they're five foot and then i just kind of i kind of dog-eared these here so it's easier to throw your slabs up in there and you don't have any sharp corners to kind of get hung on or kind of hit your head on when you're getting in there and getting the firewood out of it and everything but uh it works really good uh, especially if you burn firewood this uh you load this up and that's when you get this thing full up to the top link all the way end to end it pretty much fills up one of these which is going to be close to a rick of firewood and uh and it makes it real quick too 